Okay, here we go then. The last race of the day, it's all to play for. Race two, it all comes down to the next 14 laps. And away they go. Now, and there's Darren spinning out as well. Darren, there's contact there, he's pushed Kieran wide. Oh, but he's gone off, what's going on? Shane's also there in the BMW. Oh, nearly loses it. Kieran's going to have to slow down. No, he's got too much. It's Josh here, and he is leading. This is fantastic for Josh. Oh, a bit of a love tap. And Josh, oh my God, who's going to take it? Oh, I think it's Darren. I think it's going to be Rob. Rob gets it. He's actually on the grass. This isn't good for Tom. And he's made the move. Look at that. Threw it over Rouge. Oh, that's Mike. Mike's gone off. sideways big time is it gonna be enough no Sam takes it and takes the title ahead of Tom Craig Kelly is on the front row of the grid here for race two at Goodwood in the Nissan GTR for Elite Racing. Next to him is Mike Kuipers in also another Nissan GTR. Row two, we've got Darren Parker in the Team Parker Racing, Renault McGann, next to Tom Foster in the KTEC Racing Subaru WRX. Row three is the second of the Team Parker Racing Renault McGanns of Sam Parker. Next to him is Stephen Heath in the Subaru WRX. Row four, Rob Pellet in the second of the Elite Racing Nissan GTRs, next to Gary Black in the Lexus R. CF. Row 5, we've got Mark Nicholl in the Renner McGann, next to the other Renner McGann of Josh Hardy. And on row 6, we've got uh, Joe Burrows in his Mazda Tenza, next to uh, the BMW M4 of Chris Hensby. And at the back row of the grid is Harry Cook in his Nissan GTR after retiring from race 1 with some technical issues. Race 2 is about to get underway at uh, Goodwood, and away they go. And it's a very similar start for the guys at the front and Mike Kuipers already takes the lead. There's a bit of contact there, but uh, it looks like a fairly clean start for pretty much everyone. Stephen Heath running a little bit wide behind then, but uh, looking pretty close. There's Mark nearly going into the back of Sam. And in actual fact, Mark runs off wide, so another bad start for Mark. So, Mark is really struggling here. It's Josh looking like he wants to be a bit racy. Look at this, this is Rob Pellet, and he's going to go into the leads. Look at this for Rob. The speed he had on the exit in that corner there was incredible. So, Rob Pellet into the lead of the race. Now, just behind him is Mike. Well, next to him is Mike, and Tom is just behind, so... This is a real close battle here for the front of this uh, pack. Josh Hardy already behind Tom in fourth position. So this is looking to be a real tasty race at the front here. The guys that were on the hard tyres have come to the front. Tom has stayed on the softs. To see if he can gain some points whilst Craig, Darren and Sam all go on to hard tyres. Oh, Tom's running a little bit wide there. Catches the grass. Josh has got on the inside. Oh, Tom's gone into Josh. Tom's off. Oh, big contact. So, Tom is off. He's hit the wall hard. And so, Tom needs to spin around. And there's Harry Cook. <laughs> so, Harry nearly hits Tom as well. That's a massive impact for Tom into the tyre walls. And that's put him down to 11th now, so we can have a little look at the replay and uh, see what happened there to Tom and Josh. Let's go on board with Tom. As you can see, he just runs wide on the grass. Josh, by this point, is on his inside, and I don't think he's seen him. As yet. A little bit of contact there. Oh, big contact with that uh, tyre wall. And as you can see, Harry is going to come across and nearly hit him as well. Unfortunately, it uh, was not Josh's fault. He was next to Tom, and Tom just didn't see Josh as he went into the corner, and uh, the, the contact pushed Josh slightly into the corner, and uh, Tom way out wide. And uh, 
that was it end of story and uh, game over for Tom as he went into the wall Darren now down to eight so Darren's had a bit of a problem somewhere further up Gary's in fifth Rob is down, oh, down there and that's Mark Mark is off again and we're on board with Darren who's behind Heafy Mark lucky to keep the car back on the circuit Heafy and Darren getting close there so Gary up to fifth there's Rob and Josh now looking really racy trying to get past Joe who's in second so this is going to put Josh up to second and there's a bit of contact there and they're having a bit of a close one here there's lots of contact going on the two come together a little bit at uh, Catalonia um, and there was a little bit of displeasure between the two so there's a slight uh, maybe a slight rivalry that's come over from there and now it's a, a freeway fight for this as Rob again looking racy so Rob must have slightly had a, a slight off into the grass as he was looking to lead this race Mike has actually gone quite ahead into the lead further down and this race still going on between Darren, Mark and Heathy for 6th, 7th and 8th Mark's car looks really twitchy around here and very very unsettled for the guy who has been taking some really consistent points in previous races Tom down in ninth after his big accident Craig down in 10th and Sam down in 11th so Craig not finding the pace on the hard tyres or something's happened to Craig at some point at the moment on board with Mark as he really starts to put the pressure on Stephen now and a little bit of contact there and there's contact between him and uh, is that Darren who's gone off oh there's contact between Darren and Tom as well so the nightmare continues for Darren as he goes off that's uh, Craig who's gone past and the whole Tom slowed down for Darren there so two nightmares going on here one for Darren for half the season nearly and uh, then for Tom in this race as he's already been off the once so Let's have a look at the replay, see what happened there, and find out uh, exactly what happened. On board with Darren here then. And yeah, it just, he hits Heafy there, slows down, and then Tom's gone up on the inside and just knocks him straight off. As you see, Tom slows down, but uh, it's all too little too late then. On board with Tom. As we watch Darren and Heavy in the background. There's a bit of contact there, that slowed Darren down. Tom's got so much speed, it looks like he's gone on the inside a bit and it's just at the wrong point. And he's hit Darren straight off, so it slows down. So, as we continue to watch these two, uh, can they salvage the damage for both of them and their races? Still plenty of laps to go, but uh, oh, is Tom's hit him again. Oh, he's gone off. So it's just never ending for Darren at the moment. Here's Chris struggling still in that BMW. Just maybe not the right choice for car for Chris at the moment on board with Gary in the Lexus and Gary really showing some more consistent pace in this Lexus compared to his previous rounds as I said in the last race 
I think he might have gone away and done some tweaking and some testing and just got that uh, Lexus a little bit more planted and he seems to be showing some real genuine pace in it now. Consistently up there, he was in race one and in race two here he could be on fight for a podium. Josh still looking very twitchy in that Renault, just ahead of Joe and Rob. And look how fast they come round these corners. Uh, Joe is really on the back end of Josh here. see if Joe can make some space up and see if he can get up on the inside of Josh well in actual fact Josh has gone wide and then they're going to go into the chicane together they do and that's not going to work out so that's pushed Joe wide but quite far into the lead so Rob now is behind Joe Josh so Joe goes into second Josh is down to third still on the podium but to under threat from Rob and potentially Gary Black in the Lexus in fifth. There's Josh again with Joe and gets back into second so Josh seems to have the superior pace but uh, just very inconsistent and is letting himself down with a few little mistakes here and there. Now Gary uh, must have had a small off it's unfortunately slowed him down so this fight here for 6th, uh, 7th and 8th is now between Craig, Stephen Heath and Mark Into the chicane they go. Oh, and Heath, he touches it a little bit, so that's allowed Mark to get on the back end here, see if he can get the slipstream up the straight and into the next corner. No, oh, he's got it running wide, and he does run wide. So Mark hits the grass and back behind Heathy there. So he'll have another go, maybe. I think maybe Mark is pushing a bit too hard here. Is the pressure of the title race keen to him? And that's Josh. So, as I say about the pressure for the title, Josh spins the Renault out. And again, Josh is dropping positions. And look who's going to come up behind. Oh, there's Craig. But uh, Mark will eventually come up there. So, the prota protagonists there for the independence of come together as Josh has spun it out so we can have a little look um, at what happened to Josh in a second uh, after we just watch find out what happens with he is he going to the chicane yeah, nothing really exciting there so let's have a look at the replay of Josh as he spins out the Renault on board with Josh yeah, just look he catches the grass yeah one's wide So, the gap and the lead that Mike has here in race two at Goodwood is staggering. This is a sheer dominant performance so far. Anything could happen. We don't want to say it with the commentator's curse, but this at the moment is a fantastic show of real pace from Mike. And if he can dominate like this, what else can he do? And this is, again, going to really, really work out for the points for him. And he has really found his element here at uh, Goodwood so far. 
So down in second and third, we're fighting with uh, Rob and uh, Joe in the Mazda. So again, the Mazda showing some real pace. Joe has got that Mazda really dialed up now and fighting with the big boys. Looking to take more podiums. Could it take another win potentially? Not necessarily now. I think he's got too much of the work to be done, but uh, maybe potentially race three. Um, if not, he certainly will have a good chance of taking another win later on in the season. And that is Rob, unfortunately, who's gone off. So Rob's gone off, is down further. And there's probably a bit of contact there between him and Ranksman, which is Gary. So this battle now is going on between Heathy uh, with Craig behind and then you've got Josh who's just in front of Mark so it's got a little bit uh, interesting here mid-pack Tom isn't too far behind these either so Josh is fighting with Craig Josh has got ahead of Craig Mark could get ahead of Craig as well is he going to go too fast into the corner maybe so there's Josh and Stephen oh Josh has hit the barrier so Things not working out again for Josh. Josh is another one to be having no fun here at Goodwood. And it seems to be that the same cars are having offs at the moment. So Josh hits the barrier and is down to ninth. Be just in front of Darren and Sam who are both on the hard tyres and he's behind Tom further up. So let's have a look at the replay and find out what happened there as well. So looking at this Josh was behind Heafy and but had a lots of speed here but as the two yeah two are never going to go into that chicane together so I think uh, Josh was being a bit uh, optimistic to go into that chicane next to and side by side with Heafy so Tom on the back of Mark here racing to get some more points into seventh Tom at a strong fourth in race one with Mark struggling so Tom looking to get some more points and consistency to carry over to the next round which will be in Bathurst which is a, a track that everyone is a little bit apprehensive about Notorious for being not everyone's favourite, but uh, still plenty of action here to come at Goodwood before anything happens about the next round. So Tom's got ahead of Stephen here. The two Subarus are together down the straight. There's Mark and Craig. Ranksman is uh, just behind. Oh, there's Rob nearly coming into contact with Chris. Uh, Chris is being lapped again, and I wonder if Chris has got some big problems with that BMW and uh, causing some issues for it to go off so much. So the cars are lapping it, unfortunately. Gary now in fourth and hoping and waiting that he can get that first podium. This four-way race between Craig, Mark, Tom and Stephen now still going. Tom has got past Mark now. And Tom wanting to catch up with Craig who is on the hard tyres in fifth there he comes on board with Tom catches the grass I think he's got him yep so Tom moving up to fifth now can he push on to get up to Gary in fourth 
so quite a way. And Gary now fighting. Sorry, just behind the fight between uh, Joe and uh, Rob. So Rob's gone up to second. Joe's gone down to third. Um, and Gary still not too far behind them. Let's watch Rob and Joe fight it out for second. Yeah, look at Gary. He's, he's, I think he's catching. He's definitely catching because the two are fighting. So this is a great opportunity for Gary. So if he just holds his patience, he could be rewarded. Mike coming through the chicane to go on to lap 16. Um, miles, absolutely miles ahead of everyone else. And here's Craig. Mark, Mark's gone ahead of Craig. So. Tom was ahead of Craig, so Tom is now behind. Tom, something's happened with Tom. Maybe Tom's had an off as well. So Tom is just ahead of Stephen. Cutting the grass slightly there from Tom. Through the chicane. It's Darren and Sam. There's Chris and back with Mike again. So Mike still leading. And this fight is still going on then for the podium. Coming to the last few laps then, so Mike goes on to his final lap. And the guys are coming through the chicane for the pre preliminary time. On to their final lap. Mark is in fifth. Can he hold that fifth there for a good points haul? Tom just ahead of Hefe. Darren, Darren and Sam are probably going to be disappointed with their performance in this race and uh, most of it not down to them and so they uh, want to come back fighting stronger in race three and that's Rob and Joe now tussling for second place. This is a fantastic race and look who that is, there's Gary is now fighting for this. So it's a three-way fight for the final podium positions here. Let's go on board with Gary. Mike's taken the win already, but we will continue to watch these guys here. And Rob's gone wide, so Rob's gone off. He's back on, but it's allowed Gary to take third, so... Oh, but Gary's gone into the wall. So Joe's going to take second. And I think, yeah, so it looks like Rob has slowed down for Gary to take third. Rob's going to take fourth. Well, that was intense for the last few corners there. Mark is going to take fifth. Salvage the damage. Craig takes sixth. Seventh for Tom. Heafy's going to take eighth. Darren will take ninth. Sam will take 10th. So, watching this from here is Gary, and he watches Rob goes wide, and then Rob just taps him. Oh, but it's enough to push him straight into that tire wall. On board with Rob. That's just a real shame he goes wide there. There goes Gary. And there's the contact. A fantastic dominant win then from Mike there. Joe took second ahead of Gary, who just finishes just ahead of Rob. Mark was fifth, 
Craig 6th, Tom 7th and Stephen was 8th, Darren and Sam finish 9th, 10th, Chris takes 11th and unfortunately Josh doesn't finish just as Harry does as well. So what this means for the championship title fight then, Craig is still leading with 334 ahead of Darren 260. Mark is down, down in fourth as Mike is still in third. So Mike is 233, Mark is 218. Tom jumps up to fifth ahead of Josh after Josh doesn't finish the race. So Tom is on 213, Josh on 204. Uh, Sam is still in 7th with 170, uh, Kieran still in 8th, 152, but uh, Rob has jumped ahead of Harry now after Harry doesn't finish for a second race. Uh, so Rob is on 146, Harry is on 133, Stephen's on 124 in 11th, Joe's on 112, 2 for 12th, and uh, Gary goes up to 66 in 13th. Chris is just a few points behind James, 14th and 15th. In the teams, Elliot 574, Parker on 509, and Katick on 454. No change in positions there. And in the independents, Mark is leading by just three points now. Mike is three points away from taking the lead of this independence. Uh, Josh is third to 269, Harry 216, still after not scoring again for a second race consecutively. Uh, Stephen is fifth with 181, Joe sixth 142, Gary up to 100 now, and uh, Chris is uh, gapping James a little bit more with 48 to 34.